Bienvenidos a Miami. This week we are driving around Miami, Florida in the 2020 Hyundai Venue. This vehicle is all new to Hyundai for this model year and it is now the smallest SUV in Hyundai's lineup. So let's take a closer look and see what you need to know about the Hyundai Venue. First and foremost, let's talk engine. The Venue is equipped with a 1.6 liter four-cylinder engine that delivers 121 horsepower and 113 pound-feet of torque. Now, I can't say that this is more fuel efficient than it was before because this is the first time this vehicle has been in the Hyundai lineup. However, it's more fuel efficient than it was before because this engine is also in the Hyundai Accent. And when this engine replaced the previous engine, you actually gained four miles per gallon in fuel economy. So this vehicle, this engine will get 32 miles per gallon in combined driving. And what I wanna tell you is my drive partner and I averaged about 39.5 miles per gallon, mostly highway driving, but a little bit of city driving thrown in. For 2020, then you will have three trims. So you'll start with a base SE, then you'll have a middle SEL, and then you will have the top tier denim. At the base level, you will also get a six-speed manual transmission and it's only available at the base level. So the price for that is gonna be just more than $18,000. If you wanna to upgrade to an automatic in the SE trim, you're looking at just more than $19,000. The really cool thing with this vehicle is if you wanna go all in, upgrade to the denim and get all the whistles and bells, including passive entry, push button start, heated seats, navigation, you're looking at just more than $23,000. So one of the really interesting things they told us during the preview for the venue is that 41 million people bought a used car last year. Think about that for a second. 17 million people bought a new car, but 41 million people bought used. Whether it was the vehicle price or financing, for whatever reason, there was a barrier for them to buy a new car. So 41 million people bought used over new. And I find that fascinating because what that means is 41 million people bought a car that didn't have the latest and greatest safety technology. So what Hyundai wanted to do with this vehicle is create something that was price efficient, yet really rich in safety. So for a base price of just more than $18,000, you've got automatic emergency braking and lane keep assist and automatic high beams. I think that's really cool. In addition to all the standard safety technology, there's some other really cool standard technology features on Venue. So, Apple CarPlay is standard. Two USB ports in the front are standard. An eight inch display screen is standard. If you wanna look at available technology, there are things like navigation with real-time traffic. There are heated seats, there's blind spot monitoring, and there is rear cross-traffic alert. So this vehicle is meant to be affordable, yet tech forward. After spending all day in this new compact SUV, what I wanna say is there is a lot to love about the new venue. So let's start with the driving position. I'm about five feet tall. I'm on the smaller side of the driver spectrum and I managed to find a really good driving position. There was good visibility out of all of the windows. I didn't feel like I was eating the steering wheel while I was driving and the seats themselves were really comfortable and supportive. I felt it in my thighs and I felt it in the small of my back. I don't always get that as a petite driver. On the road, I thought that the venue handled really well. It's a small SUV, so the turning radius is really tight. And I noticed, especially at the beginning of our drive, when I was trying to get out of the city and onto the highway, it was really good at darting around traffic. I didn't try and parallel park it, but I have to imagine, especially with the backup camera and that has the guides, it would be really easy to pull into a parking space. This is a great vehicle for the city. And I noticed once we got on the highway, it was fine there too. As an entry-level SUV, you are going to get more road noise into the cabin than you would in something that's a little bit larger, but I didn't find it bothersome. Under hard acceleration, there's certainly a little bit of engine whine, but once you even out your speed, it was totally fine. 
I also really like the way that the venue is designed. So this vehicle behind me is the denim model. This is the top tier trim, and this is the only one that has the two-tone exterior. I really like this version, probably the vest. The interior is also really cool because the seats almost mimic blue jeans. Go figure, denim. But I thought it was really well done. The overall interior layout is also just really intuitive and well placed. I didn't feel like I had to stretch to reach any of the dials and knobs. And I just like the way it generally looks. My favorite thing about the vehicle, however, has to be this basket weave on the grill. I think it's really attractive, very smart, and it makes this vehicle look a lot more expensive than $18,000. Now I want to issue a quick pause here because you may have noticed the wind has picked up, the sun is starting to set, and people are moving around everywhere. So if, if we look a little bit distracted and the lighting has changed, that's going to be part of this story. So back to the driving impressions. Overall, I think this is a huge win for Hyundai. They needed a vehicle of this size in their lineup, and it drives really well, it looks great, and it has pretty much all the technology you could want, especially for a vehicle that's going to cost less than $23,000. Now the other thing I want to touch on is probably the fact that the only other competitor to this vehicle really is going to be the Nissan Kicks. So let's address that for a hot minute. Pricing is going to be very similar. It's only going to be about a couple hundred dollars difference. The Kicks is just a little bit more expensive. And in terms of horsepower, the numbers are really close. This is 121 horsepower. The Kicks is 122 horsepower. Torque is the same story. This is 113 pound-feet of torque. Kicks is 114 pound-feet of torque. That's totally negligible. The big difference is gonna be in size. The Kicks is about 10 inches longer. At the end of the day, if you're trying to decide between new and used, I'm gonna send you to the Hyundai venue first because it is a really great value proposition that offers standard safety, standard technology, and a really nice ride. Plus, it's really cute. In four, three... Wait a minute. I just wanted to see what that SUV was doing. Okay. But I can tell you it's more fuel efficient than before because we also see this engine... Do I need to... Sorry. No, you're okay. You're okay. It was okay. The base version, the SE, is going to have a base transmission of a six-speed manual. <laughs> I'm like, no. For 2020, the... <clears throat> But to add the manual, you'll have to go up to a little bit more than... <laughs> okay. Still rolling. Okay. Can you move closer? Okay. I'm like, is there anything else? <laughs> I'm probably going to want to do this whole segment all over again. Um, uh, go back to your spot. Because that's my spot. That's your spot. <laughs> I know. Sorry, now I'm like getting really distracted by all the movement. Right, right. Uh, you know what? Let's just let's just do that all over again because I'm I'm not happy with like I got distracted. I don't even know what I've said. Okay. <laughs> um. It didn't matter. They went with a used car over a news car because frankly they couldn't afford a news. They bought a used car over a new car. You said news car. You said news car. I'm like, okay. Um, okay, news car. Well, you know, okay. Okay. End of the day, punchiness. Ah! You may need to move. Well, maybe not. I don't know. And it's got the technology that you would want. So, uh, and it's going to give you a lot of stability and comfort. <sighs> Crap, that last little bit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 